Hey guys, here I am in London at the saxophone superstore, sax.co.uk, and I'm gonna try out some alto saxophones for you. Uh, these are ones I've tried before at trade shows and stuff, but it's nice to be able to try them in a, in a practice room in more of a controlled environment. So I'm gonna play the Cannonball uh, Gerald Albright model, uh, one of the P. Moriats, as well as the Eastman Rue Saint-Georges. I'm playing all of these with my Better Sax Burnin Alto Mouthpiece in a seven tip opening. <laughs> So I'm back home. I wanted to film the rest of this yesterday, but I didn't have time before I had to head to the airport. But I listened back to all the clips and now I can combine my feelings and impressions playing the saxophones with listening back to them several times afterwards. You heard the clips. Uh, I can say that all four of these saxophones are excellent instruments. They're very well made. I want to give a shout out to the team over at sax.co.uk who are doing a fantastic job setting up all those instruments and keeping them in pristine conditions so when people go in there to, to try the instruments out they're ready to play for you and you get a, a really good idea of what those instruments sound like and play like when they're in top playing condition. I will say that my favorite one is Still the Yonagasawa, of course, that's more what I'm used to. So it's to be expected, but still overall, it was the best out of the four. In the recording, you might notice that the volume was a little bit lower than the other three. That's because I had I was facing a little bit off center on the microphone. It has nothing to do with the output or the volume of the Yonagasawa. My second favorite horn in the group was the P. Moria. I really enjoyed playing that horn. It has a different feel. It gives you this sort of vintage vibe. I love the look of it. I love how it feels under the fingers. Man, I could, I wouldn't be unhappy if I had one of those to play myself. It's a very, very nice horn. Third on the list for me was the Eastman. I like all the new innovations they did with the key. The, you know, the, the keys are like flute keys and all these little modifications they did. It's very nice, feels great under their fingers. Um, good saxophone. The one that I would put fourth on the list uh, was the Cannonball, and it's not because it's not a great saxophone, it is. It just, for whatever reason, I felt the least comfortable on it ergonomically. They have a different thing going on. If I were to be playing that horn though for, uh, you know, after a few days, I would, I'm sure I'd be totally comfortable on it. Uh, listening back, it is a nice, bright, powerful saxophone and it does look really cool with the, the silver plating as well as the black nickel. Now here's some advice for anyone who might be shopping for a saxophone. It's great to be able to go into a store like sax.co.uk, a store with lots of selection and be able to try so many. The problem with that is you're a bit spoiled for choice. Now, with these instruments here, you couldn't possibly go wrong. You could choose any one. It's not so much a matter of which one is better than the others. It's the one that's best for you personally. So try them out and you can feel good going ahead and choosing the one that feels just best to you. 
that is calling out to you, that the one that's giving you the vibe, like, oh, this is the one that I really want. Don't worry too much about all the little details. Oh, but this one has this feature and this one has this. Go with your instinct, go with your gut, go with the one that just, that makes you feel the happiest when you're playing it. Let me know in the comments below if you liked this video and this sort of shorter thrown together content. It's a lot easier for me to make a video like this than some of the stuff I normally overproduce for you guys. Anyway, uh, don't forget to click the like button if you like this sort of stuff and make sure you're subscribed to the channel and I'll see you very soon in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.